I feel like I continue to say the same thing every goddamn week when I watch the next episode of Dragon Ball Super. It always just seems to surprise me. It always amazes me of what they could possibly do for the storyline for not only the character of Future Trunks as we know it, but the character of both Goku and Vegeta, and currently at the moment, both Zamasu and Goku Black. Now in today's episode, we're going to be discussing the true identity of who Goku Black actually is. I'm going to go ahead and, and give you guys a spoiler alert as for people who are watching this without, uh, without watching anything about Dragon Ball Super, you might as well go ahead and click off right now before you get, before you get spoiled by anything Dragon Ball Super related. But let's go ahead and continue on with the video. So, uh, so the beginning of the episode for episode 60 of Dragon Ball Super begins with, uh, it, it begins with, a, with, a, uh, with them talking about how Beerus had killed the current Zamasu in the current timeline of Universe 7, and then basically Beerus uh, is like is telling Future Trunks that if a god does something in the in the past, it will change the future. But Trunks is doubting um, Lord Beerus or Beerus-sama because as, as as he knows it and from what he what he's experienced before in the past. That's not exactly how it works. And Kid Trunks, in the, in, the, in the current timeline as we know it, he doesn't know anything that went on in the past. He has no idea. No one has ever told him. And so he was confused of what was going on. And so a, a little bit later on in the episode, after they, they, they decide to eat, I guess, uh, F Future Trunks and Kid Trunks kind of have a little moment together. Ex and Future Trunks is basically explaining to Kid Trunks that as the future that he knows it, as Future Trunks knows it, it's a vast wasteland where basically the Earth is just entirely just destroyed and everybody is basically just either dead or they're slowly dying. And Zamasu is there and Goku Black is also there as well and he's just terrorizing the whole planet. But what, Go but what Kid Trunks doesn't understand is that... Uh, he thinks that it's it's kind of like not, it's like not the multiverse theory. The multiverse theory is it's just different universes and stuff. Like that. I'm not gonna get into it. That's that's a whole different goddamn video. But but basically, it's it's a multiverse theory. And the theory that's in Dragon Ball Super is the multiverse theory, which is that there are different timelines and different universes where Kid Trunks lives a happy, a happy, healthy life where nothing is bad. Zamasu's dead. Goku Black has never existed. Um, both Android uh, 17 and 18 end up being uh, pretty much good good guys in general as we know it. And in Future Trunks' timeline, that didn't exactly happen. If anything, everything that Kid Trunks knows that he that he knows exists at the current timeline never existed in the future. And I'm gonna go I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in just just because it's a comedic thing, and I've been watching um, uh, Team Four Star lately. Um, uh, he, he probably doesn't know that country exists. Let me know if you get the reference of what I'm talking about in, in, in a certain episode of uh, Team Four Stars uh, Dragon Ball Abridged series. But anyways, um, it then continues on. Future Trunks, Kid Trunks are having a moment. You know, he's explaining like, like yeah, you, yeah. He's basically telling him you shouldn't take things for granted. You shouldn't take things for granted for what you have. He because Kid Trunks lives. In a future where he's already a Super Saiyan, his dad's still alive, his mom's still alive, uh, Goten's alive, who's pretty much his, his his best fucking friend. Every other Z fighter, including Yamcha, is is alive. Everyone's alive, and although Beerus could technically destroy the planet whenever, you know he's not going to because he just wants food all day, and that's pretty much it. But yeah, Future Trunks pretty much not Future Trunks. Kid Trunks pretty much has nothing to really worry about because. There's Goku and Vegeta who can pretty much get a step in and just do whatever they need to do, you know? Future Trunks, he's pretty much doing everything all on his own, and that's what he had to do for a very, very long time since he was pretty much starting to get trained by Gohan, and after Gohan died, Future Gohan, uh, not, not to be confusing. But yeah, it's just like, and then, uh, like, it ends with, like, uh, Kid Trunks and Future Trunks, like, having her their brief explanation of of why Future Trunks is speculating of what could and couldn't happen, and that's why he's not believing of what 
Beerus is saying and why it probably can't happen like the way he's thinking that's going to happen. And then after that, you know, um, uh, all four of Future Trunks, Goku, Vegeta, and Bulma, they all go back to the future. And of course, to and of course, shockingly, it's it's the same as it was before. Goku Black and Zamasu still exist. They're not dead. They still exist. They're still in the future timeline as we know it. And they're there's not there's not lost hope because they still could win. How how can they win? I I, I can't really tell you that. But they could still find a way to win. We just need to find that out. But anyways, we find out that Mai ended up getting injured. And then uh, she was close to, to the brink of death, and this time they actually remembered to brought Senzu beans. Uh, for, for those of you who, for, who, uh, who don't know or, or forgot, uh, when they went back to the future the first time with uh, with both Goku and, and Vegeta, they actually forgot their Senzu beans, and they were pretty much fucking had to go back to the past. But this time they brought the, the Senzu beans, and then Trunks takes the Senzu, he puts it uh, in his mouth, he starts chewing on it, and then... He basically just gives a form of CPR. And so basically I'm trying to say that he fucking made out with her as she was passed out. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be blunt about it, but that's basically what he did. But then, you know, she wakes up because it's a sense of being all that. Bulma notices that uh, Yajirobe's still alive and that he was helping out and stuff. Which, uh, for those of you who don't know, Yajirobe's a fat, lazy piece of shit who doesn't do anything. Not to be rude, but that's kind of just how he is and what he does. But then, you know, uh, they feel Goku, Goku Black and Zamasu's uh, energy, their key. They go out, they go look for him. And then that's when, uh, for a brief second, G Goku Black went to a Super Saiyan Rose transformation. And uh, Vegeta went and attacked and assaulted to Black. And a Super Saiyan Blue transformation, of course, because that's his strongest form. And then they start fighting for like a brief, like, like five seconds, and then they stop. And then Goku's like, "Yo, I found out your fucking plan, bro. Like, you used the Super Dragon Balls to create a fake me and then make yourself invincible. You're a fucking douchebag." And then, out of fucking nowhere, Goku Black hits us with the reveal of who he actually is. And now this was a big shocker to me because I, I that. That was literally the last thing I could I could have ever expected. But what happened was that Zamasu himself, his heart, his mind, his his everything, took took himself and swapped bodies with the body of Goku. So the body and the power of Goku of Goku of how we know him is now in control of Zamasu, and the last person who had it he killed at the body of Goku. And then the episode ends off realizing that the, that everyone who's watching the episode has found out that Goku Black is Zamasu and he swapped bodies. Now that was just a huge, huge thing that just... It really surprised me. It really surprised me. Now, like, I knew that they were going to... Uh, that they... Um, revealed who he was his true identity because of course like youtubers like Geekdom 101 Mike from laughing snapping stock media and uh Dragon Ball Nation they all fucking are making videos like oh my god oh Goku Black is this he's he's this person and I'm just like can you can you not bro I haven't seen the episode I'm trying to just fucking wait and then yeah it 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 was it's a it was a good episode because we kind of have a little moment with future trunks and uh, kid trunks, which uh, we didn't see too often. On honestly, I mean, the only time we did see like actual like communication of, I mean like long conversations of both kid trunks and future trunks, was in the last episode in episode fifty nine, and then kind of in the beginning to the mid of the episode with uh, with uh, episode sixty. I'm sorry, <laughs> I don't I don't know why I lost my train of thought, but. Yeah, and then of course uh, there was there was a little bit of fighting. I guess like not every episode has that fighting, but I kind of would like to see a little bit more. And then of course the big reveal of who Goku Black, his true identity is, 
And let me know if you guys um, if you guys had any theories of who could have possibly been besides Zamasu. I actually am kind of curious. You can go ahead and leave a comment saying who you thought uh, Goku Black actually was. And uh, yeah, but just if you guys want to go see episode 60, I, I highly recommend that you go do that. There's a couple of people who uploaded the entire episode. Excuse me, I just burped a little bit. I'm sorry. To upload the entire ep episode on YouTube. If you can't find it on YouTube for some reason, Google is your friend. <laughs> Google is your friend. You can always find it. You can always find it on the internet somewhere. You can find it on YouTube because everyone's always uploading the Dragon Ball Super episodes when they probably shouldn't be. <coughs> Excuse me. But anyways, I've I've been random. I've been rambling on for long enough. I probably took in enough of your time as it is. If you guys enjoyed this uh, this this. Um, I was gonna say this brief review on episode 60, but it wasn't really brief. It's almost I've almost been recording for 11 minutes long, which uh, is usually around the time where I kind of end it. But I don't know why I just keep going on with random shit. <laughs> All right, whatever, whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end off the uh, end off the, the video. If you guys enjoyed and you guys want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe and leave a like and leave a comment saying who you thought Goku Black actually was besides Masu. I'm actually kind of curious. But um, yeah, peace.